I'm Casey with Castanet and this is our Meet the Candidates series. Today we're joined by Green Party candidate Ted Shoemaker. Ted, thanks for joining us. It is a pleasure. So starting off here, do you want to just give a quick 15 second introduction about yourself? Uh, I guess I'm an old guy. I'm 69, been retired for a while, spent 20 years with Interior Health as a hospital pharmacist. I'm a regular kind of guy, not a politician. This is day eight. For you, starting off here, what is the most important issue facing the people of this riding and how would you address it as an MLA? Um, as, as this riding also goes into bigger issues of even democracy, what really spurred me to put my name forward was that uh, the NDP calling a snap election, we're going to put Sonia Furstenau out of the debates. That is not democracy. It's not fair. Uh, dirty pool, where I came from. Uh, that was the, the leading thing. Uh, the other thing is that I believe uh, a minority government actually works better than a, uh, than a majority. You say, well, how can that be? They can't get anything done. Well, surprisingly, they are forced to cooperate. This last, this last government, NDP, Green, and the Liberals, we're working together so well that we have probably the best COVID response maybe in the world. Um, so that's the reason we need to hear that diverse voice from the Green. So you believe the biggest issue in Penticton right now is the fact that a snap election was called? Yes, because it, it doesn't give us um, time to prepare, and I don't mean just Green, I mean the people, to deal with the, the issues that are, that are right in front of us, you know, the, the crime, the homeless, the, the addiction. We can't, no one guy can solve all that stuff. But at least if we were working together and have the diverse voice and look to the experts, um, we, we can move forward. And you've said you're not a politician. I am not. And you have voted for every party in the past. Why Green? Why now? Well, NDP didn't call me. Uh, Dan the man is kind of the, the liberal guy. And uh, why now? Uh, even I ask myself that, but eventually we have to stand up. Do I care what's gonna happen to my kids, what's gonna happen to my grandchildren, and maybe even my great-grandchildren? Um, Grandpa, what did you do? Did you do anything to help us out? And I guess, well, I stood up, I gave it a try. I cannot save the world, but I can start here elected, does your lack of experience as a politician put you at a, as a disadvantage? It actually does for a while, but uh, I can listen. I have proven I can learn. My goodness, what's happened in the last eight days is amazing. Um, and I can do that as well as anyone. Um, I, I must admit, Dan has a big advantage, seven years in the game. He's going to get it done maybe a little faster, but don't worry. I can handle it. And as you've addressed a little bit today, you said that a minority government where everyone has a say uh, could get a lot done. Do you believe that a minority government is the best route for this election? I do. Um, I do. That is my main premise. And the NDP, with a majority, want to be that single expert. One guy makes all the decisions. It doesn't matter how smart um, uh, Horgan is, he can't get it right as often as the large diverse group. Finally, what's one thing you would like to tell voters about yourself? When I do go after something, I tend to go after it pretty hard. Hear more from Ted Shoemaker and the three others campaigning in Penticton for your votes at the Penticton Herald's All Candidates Forum, live streamed on Castanet on Tuesday, October 13th at 7 p.m. For Castanet News, I'm Casey Richardson.